Have you ever wondered how the once dominant technology company Xerox came to be? A tale of innovation and transformation, it all started in 1906 with a company called the Haloid Photographic Company. Nestled in Rochester, New York, Haloid was a long way from becoming the technology titan we know as Xerox. However, a groundbreaking invention in 1938 would set the company on a path to global recognition. Enter Chester Carlson, a patent attorney with a knack for invention. Frustrated by the tedious process of hand-copying patent drawings and specifications, Carlson embarked on a mission to simplify the process. After years of tinkering in his kitchen, he emerged with a revolutionary invention that would change the world of documents forever. The process of electrophotography, later known as xerography. This technological marvel was the precursor to the world's first practical photocopy machine. In the shadow of this invention, Haloid saw an opportunity to redefine itself and its products. The company took a leap of faith and rebranded itself as Haloid Xerox in 1958, signaling its commitment to the new technology. But the metamorphosis wasn't complete just yet. Three years later, in 1961, Haloid Xerox shed its skin one final time, emerging as the Xerox Corporation we know today. This name change was more than just a marketing move. It signified the company's pivot from photographic paper supplier to a pioneer in the realm of document technology. The term xerography was derived from the Greek words for dry writing, a nod to the unique process of creating copies without the use of liquid developers or inks. This technology set Xerox apart and placed it at the forefront of an industry on the brink of explosive growth. Thus began the journey of Xerox, a company destined to revolutionize the world of documents and information. From its humble beginnings as a photographic paper supplier to its transformation into a global technology powerhouse, Xerox's birth is a testament to the power of innovation and the courage to adapt to changing times. So where did it all go wrong for Xerox? The story of Xerox's downfall is a fascinating study of missed opportunities and a failure to adapt to a rapidly changing technological landscape. It all began with the dawn of the digital age. As the world went digital, Xerox, once a titan in the technology industry, seemed to have gotten stuck in time. Despite having the resources and potential to lead the digital revolution, Xerox clung to its legacy of photocopiers and printers. It's as if the company was looking in the rearview mirror, cherishing its past glories while the world zoomed past it. As the business world moved towards computers and digital technology, Xerox's stronghold on the photocopier market started to wane. Its failure to adapt fast enough to the new digital world was one of the primary reasons for its decline. The company that once revolutionized the way we handle documents and information was now struggling to keep up with the pace of innovation. But it wasn't just a failure to adapt that led to Xerox's downfall. The company also made some costly acquisitions that diverted it from its core competencies. One such misstep was the purchase of Western Union International. This acquisition, intended to diversify Xerox's portfolio, ended up causing more harm than good. It put a financial strain on Xerox, distracting it from its main business and causing it to lose focus. Furthermore, Xerox's management made strategic errors that hindered the company's progress. Despite having a state-of-the-art research center, Xerox Park, the company failed to capitalize on the groundbreaking technologies it developed. These include the personal computer, Ethernet, and the graphical user interface, technologies that would later become the cornerstones of the digital revolution. Ironically, while Xerox was inventing the future, it failed to realize its potential. It's as if the company was sitting on a gold mine but didn't know how to extract the gold. Xerox's inability to recognize and leverage these inventions is considered one of the biggest missed opportunities in business history. These missteps and missed opportunities marked the beginning of the end for Xerox. On January 31, 2018, Xerox ceased to exist as an independent company. This marked the end of an era and served as a stark reminder of how even the most successful companies can fall if they fail to adapt and innovate. 
The downfall of Xerox serves as a cautionary tale for businesses in the technology sector. It underscores the importance of continuous innovation, staying ahead of the curve, and the ability to adapt to changing market dynamics. But above all, it teaches us the importance of recognizing and capitalizing on our strengths and potential. And so, the story of Xerox's downfall is not just about the decline of a technology giant. It's a lesson in business strategy, innovation, and adaptation. A lesson that every entrepreneur and business leader can learn from. Did you know Xerox invented technologies that are now commonplace in the digital world? Yes, you heard it right. Xerox, the company that brought photocopying into our offices and homes, was also behind some of the most remarkable innovations of the digital age. Let's start with the personal computer or PC. At its Palo Alto Research Center, or PUC, Xerox researchers developed the Alto, the first computer with a graphical user interface or GUI and a mouse. This was a significant leap from the text-based interfaces of the time. But Xerox didn't stop there. The invention of Ethernet, the technology that allows computers to communicate with each other, also came from Xerox PUC. This technology revolutionized the way we share and access information, laying the groundwork for modern networking. And let's not forget the graphical user interface, or GUI. This user-friendly system, which allows users to interact with electronic devices through graphical icons and visual indicators, was another trailblazing invention from Xerox. This kind of interface is now a standard feature of almost every device we use from computers and smartphones to appliances and cars. So, with all these groundbreaking innovations, you might be wondering, why isn't Xerox ruling the digital world? Well, the answer lies in missed opportunities. Despite having these revolutionary technologies at its disposal, Xerox failed to recognize their potential and capitalize on them. Xerox could have been the leader in personal computers, networking, and user interface technology. But instead, other companies like Apple and Microsoft stepped in, took these ideas, and ran with them, leaving Xerox in the dust. This is a classic case of a company failing to see beyond its immediate business and not understanding the true potential of its own inventions. Xerox was too focused on its core business of photocopying and printing and failed to seize the opportunities that these new technologies presented. Xerox's failure to seize these opportunities was a significant factor in its decline. It's a cautionary tale that reminds us of the importance of recognizing and leveraging our assets to their fullest potential. It's not enough to invent, you must also innovate. Adapt, and seize the opportunities that come your way. So, what can we learn from Xerox's rise and fall? The first lesson is a reminder of the critical importance of continuous innovation and adaptation. In a world where technology evolves at a breakneck pace, resting on your laurels is not an option. Xerox, once a pioneer in the industry, became complacent. They failed to adapt to the digital age, clinging to their analog roots, and this was a significant factor in their decline. This serves as a potent reminder that innovation is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. Businesses must continually evolve, adapt, and reinvent themselves to stay relevant and competitive. The second lesson from Xerox's journey revolves around the significance of recognizing and leveraging a company's assets and inventions. Xerox had all the ingredients for success. They had groundbreaking technologies like the PC, Ethernet, and graphical user interface right under their noses. However, they failed to realize the potential of these inventions. They were so focused on their core business of photocopiers that they overlooked these golden opportunities. This teaches us that tunnel vision can be a company's downfall. It's crucial to keep an open mind, explore all avenues of innovation, and leverage your company's assets to their fullest potential. Xerox's story also underscores the dangers of straying too far from your core competencies. Their costly acquisitions, like that of Western Union International, led to financial strain and took them away from what they did best. 
This highlights the importance of staying true to your core business while expanding and diversifying. Lastly, Xerox's tale is a lesson in the power of timing. They had the technology for the digital age, but they were too early and when the world was ready, Xerox wasn't. Timing is everything. Xerox's story serves as a potent reminder for entrepreneurs and businesses to stay adaptable, innovative, and forward-thinking. The lessons from their journey are timeless and relevant to any business, in any industry. By learning from their mistakes, we can strive to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of technology and business with more wisdom and foresight. As we come to the end of our exploration of Xerox's journey, let's take a moment to reflect on the key points. The tale of Xerox is a poignant one, a narrative of a technological titan that once stood at the summit of innovation, only to fall due to stagnation and missed opportunities. It's a stark reminder of the critical need for continuous innovation and adaptation in a rapidly changing technological landscape. Xerox's story underscores the importance of recognizing and leveraging a company's assets and inventions to their fullest potential. It serves as a cautionary tale for those who settle for short-term gains at the expense of long-term evolution and growth. By learning from Xerox's mistakes, we can aim to navigate the ever-evolving technological landscape more successfully. So, remember, always keep your eyes on the horizon, stay adaptable, and never stop innovating. The future belongs to those who dare to evolve.